Hi friends, I am making an 8x8, I think, um, page that's supposed to be a deconstruction art journal. I'm not sure. So, um, I think they're supposed to be 8x8, if I'm correct. Uh, um, and if I was watching the videos um, online and one of the videos that I watched said 8x8 so I don't know what size they're supposed to be so I'm going to go to 4 inches here and I don't know where my crease you know uh, one for my creases so I'm just going to use my bone folder and make a crease along the cutting edge where I would cut and that will be my crease and that's what I'm going to do with that to make that so that was just a little I so I have a few stencils picked out um I'm still not 100% sure what I want to do except for I know I want some stencils I do have my water crayons onto the side my water pencil crayons right here just to let you know I don't know if you can see you guys can see that or not but there's a spot on my lens that's driving me crazy I tried to clean it and it's it's right there if you can see it I don't know. It's not, it's, it's, ah, there's a spot on my lens. Anyway, okay. Now you guys are going to be going crazy seeing spots. <laughs> I was like, thanks, Eileen. Thanks for that. Can't watch your videos now because there's a spot on your lens. Okay, so this is coming down. And I have it quite a bit, um, trying to see what, there we go. So it's eight by eight and that's what I have, a watercolor paper. And I am just going to take my pieces out of the, these two back, these will be two um, uh, background uh, stencils. I have no idea, I wanna play with this idea in my head. I was last night thinking about it and then all of a sudden I, it, I kind of popped in my head again um, this afternoon and I'm like oh yeah I want to do that so peel the plastic off. The plastic doesn't seem to want to stay on some of these. Some of them. So I'm going to use this stencil as well as the key here, the um, vintage keys and uh, try to do a nice little background. Probably with my sprays just to play with those a little bit more and then making all this noise. That. that one's not too bad that plastic so um that's what i want to do so what i'm going to do is use this background first i have nothing absolutely nothing planned so let's see if we're going to do the outside of the um paper with this and just go with the lightest. I'm going to go with my lightest colors first. Do I want to use my, hmm, now it's between do I want to use my deco arts or do I want to use some of my homemade sprays? So the uh, one with water and uh, the food coloring that is um, from that gel food dye stuff which is behind me Wil Wilton's <laughs> I couldn't think of a name and I do have uh, a few colors so I have the blue I have the black I have the red and over here I have like uh, the yellow and the brown so let's see what we can play with this I could always go over top with other more brilliant other colors that I want or make some more if I want so there is no wrong um, except for this this sprayer is wrong it's all wrong it drives me nuts so um, dollar store sprayer but you know what the other ones are all have been really good to me so can't complain I'm just spraying instead of worrying about mixing the colors I'm kind of just spraying them in together and let's see if I should put another piece on top so this is another piece of watercolor paper what was left over 
and I think I will quickly cut this to eight by eight because I didn't think of that. Just because. So I quickly do that. Over here, pause the video for a second for you guys. Okay, I quickly went over, cut this piece of um, watercolor. I'm going to go right over top and squish it in between grabbing my roller because I want to use up my paint and hey if I make two that's whatever that's good it's all good so I'm going to go over my roller this is experimenting and having fun with it guys and uh, playing with my stencils in a different way I don't know just wanted to play and I just had some ideas in my head let's see if they can come out on paper maybe maybe not so there is that very pretty and uh, now I could take this off very pretty Isn't that pretty and let's see what else we have left on here we could grab a smaller piece of watercolor paper I have these things everywhere why watercolor I don't know I'm just going with whatever I grabbed there so we can make bookmarks or um, inches, twinches, whatever. So there's that. So that's kind of going to be my leftover. Um, hitting my camera. Picking my camera up. My leftover. Kind of clean up piece. So there. So I'm just going to throw that to the side and just keep bringing that in. So here is this piece. It's nice and yummy. And I'm going to dry that up. Let's make the camera actually. So this is just that Wilton's food dye. And that's it. Isn't that pretty already? Like look at the color on that. And that's not even my um, deco arts. That's my homemade Wilton's food dye. So what I'm going to do, what I wanted to do is thinking about using a key. Um, because this will be kind of the outside. Did I do it right? Yes, the outside of my letter journal. And I am going to use, do a key, I think. So uh, let's try that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my sticky pads. So you guys got to get these. I mean, seriously, they're very helpful, useful, and make great masks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this over. Sticky it to my thing here. And then leave it not worry about it. So yes, it's going to curl up a bit, but it'll be nice it'll be good it'll be all good don't worry about it you can also add a dab of glue um, the kind of glue that's the stick glue and uh, you can add that on there so anyways if you want like to stick it to the plastic a little bit better but since you're just kind of flipping it over ah, proving that I can't do this you're flipping it over and then Sorry guys, re-stick. The sticky note pad. <laughs> Maybe these ones are not so fresh. I've probably had them for a long time. Anyways, the sticky note pad. So I put a mask over the stickiness. Having everything, be, clean up your table guys because seriously I can't like, I have everything around the edge here and I'm like trying to move this 12 by 12 stencil and it's like, ah. I'm not usually terribly messy, but hmm. Yeah. So you want to get it wherever you want to get it, but you don't want to get all of, say, you don't want to get all of these in there, but you still particularly want to spray instead of doing this, the stenciling with a brush or a sponge or a dabber. So you're in a spray mood and you can spray. Yes, I'm getting more spray there. If I was really wanting to get, uh, I could have put another piece of paper there or something, but that is that. 
that is that. So now I'm grabbing this, moving it out of the way, keeping it flat. Don't just throw it somewhere where it's all going to drain out and yada yada get a mess. So I'm going to put it flat on here. Save these papers. Don't throw them out. Roll it down. Roll. The, the, the roller is like really cool. You, yes, you get stuff on your hands, but it's a little bit more helpful. So this particular one I um, did that with. Let's see. This again is just the spare one that I want to try. And there we go. That's that. Now I have um, to move this to the side, grab this, grab anything else that's left for color here that's splattered or spritzed. And I'm not planning to get any shapes or anything, I'm just, just picking up color for this one. So have a space, um, uh, a throw, a towel, old towel or something on the floor, nice for your 12 by 12s to put down on the floor so then you don't get anything on your carpet or on your floor or it doesn't drag somewhere else. It just goes onto your towel. So that's my rub off, which will be nice little flowers and stuff. I actually do need to make more flowers. So here is the original piece and then I'm just going to dry it. Now this is this piece, this is this piece dry and look at it, isn't that cute? And this is all the food coloring sprays. Um, so that's really cool. And this one I didn't dry yet, but I'm letting it kind of just dry. And that's my um, other spare rub off one that I can make into a page as well. So, and then I of course have my, my other rub off, but that is, um, just to make flowers or whatever. I want to make some flowers with that one. So another thing I want to do is I'm going to flip it and do the inside. So I'm going to make sure this is all dry. So I'm going to flip it and work on the inside. Let's see here. I have some stenciling that I'm probably going to throw this down here. And I'm going to grab my stain one that I made kind of like a stain. I'm so proud of myself. Um, it's a brown. It could be kind of like a tea stain or maybe, I'm not sure if it would be called walnut because of the color, but I'm just going to go with that. Try not to drag it. Of course, I'm dragging it here. That's just not good. So I'm going to move this uh, to the side and give this a quick wipe just because um, I want to flip this over and I really don't want to smudge it too much. Okay, so I've got my roller happening here. So it's the inside going to be less of an awesome background like the other way um, it was sprayed right on there but you can just cover we can do more to that background so this is just my other one here now I'm going to flip it over let that dry I'm going to dry this off I am not sure if I made my point about this page being I wanted to use all stencils on this page with my media with my paint or with my whatever that I want to put on there but I wanted to use stencils only um, that was my goal just to play with my stencils and really stretch my mind out so this is what I got so far so I really wanted to pick um, this stencil because of the face on there and I love the uh, faces and I need more stencils with faces on them so gotta go stencil shopping um, but this one I've done used quite a bit already for other projects. But I'm going to use it in a different way today. So I'm not sure. Let's see. Which face do I prefer? I think I'm going to use this girl's face just because she's the only one here that has nice little cheeks. 
in um, on here. So when you open up the page, I want to see this girl like this. So basically, she is right in the center of the back page. And I'm going to go like this so you guys can see. So now what I want to do is grab my watercolors. Now I have my watercolor crayons right here. And I hope that this is not going to disturb you guys too much. But I have my watercolor crayons and then I wanted to do this with this particular uh, stencil. Do a little play with this. So here goes. So I'm just going to um, color, I'm going to leave the ones I used in case I need them again. I'm just going to color around here and see what I come up with. And this is my watercolor so I can move it with my water brush which is going to be really nice. And I like that idea. So I don't think I have a black because I, well maybe I do. I exploded my last black. No, I have a dark brown. <laughs> I was using the tip <laughs> uh, to put it in the microwave for a few seconds. Um, that was nothing. Yeah, it was a tip from the frugal crafter. Not her fault because she said uh, it could happen. Who knows what will happen? But this works for her. Um, but it exploded. It, my my black exploded. I was like, oh my goodness. So it may explode if you put your black marker in them or your marker, I mean not marker, pencils in there to try to, because it was kept breaking. So um, obviously it was dropped and the tip was to, if you put it in there for a few seconds, it can um, fuse them together. And well, these particular ones don't, these particular brand, the Royal, explode. And I didn't try another one, but I tried the black, and I don't want to try another one. So, yeah. Because black is, like, such an important color, too, <laughs> for me. It was. So I was, like, not pleased that I did that. Anyway, so I have my darker brown. I'm going to go in with, uh, oh, no, maybe I don't need to go in with that brown. I'll go in with another brown, see if I can add some highlights. I don't know how this is going to work. This is just like a different way to use your stencils than what we're normally used to. And I wanted to do that. I just want to stretch my brain a little bit, right? And use my stencils in a different way. So that's all I'm doing. That's my goal for today. Now I'm going to look around here. I'm going to try to do white. See how much white I can get on here. If I can get a lot of white, maybe, I could kind of lighten up the uh, tan behind. We'll see. We can only see. Doesn't mean I can't uh, add some paint to her, her face using the stencils, so. But, like I said, I want to use it in a different way, in a different manner, so. That's all my goal was for this. What is this color? Is it a green? I am going to pause this for a second. Okay, so I'm just thinking, like, what do I want to do with the eyes here? So I've got my paint pens here, and I'm just going to go in with the eyes. They're white. And we'll see how that works. I'm not sure. It's a play here. It's a play. We might have to go over it with our pencils or whatever, because, yeah, not uh, sure how that's going to work. So I'm just going over my loop of my eyes with the black not sure just inventing it as I go along here 
grab my watercolor or my water um, brush and seeing what we got here. Maybe I'll leave it on there just because. Leave it on and see what we can do with it. So I'm just going to go over with my water brush. This could be a bad idea. This could be just like a terrible idea, but who knows. I wanted to, like I said, stretch my brain a little bit. See what I could do. And just try something new. So far the hair looks decent. Um, the rest of it is, I don't know, I'm going to go over the neck edges here a bit and with the leftover watercolor from the edges here. And I do have some white so I'm just kind of going over it. Do you recall I went over the white with the uh, white watercolor pencil so I'm just going to kind of pick up some brown and go on my edges. From the hair and then smear in whatever's left of that brown and white into the facial areas. So now I'm going to go to the cheek area, um, the cheekbone, her face. So you can see, maybe you can't. Let's see. I will pause the video and bring it down. Okay, still have the stencil on moving my video up and using my watercolor. And like I said, I brought it right down so you guys can see what craziness I'm doing here. And now I'm going into the hair. I still, if you recall, did the white watercolor crayon coloring pencil in here. And so I'm just still now I'm going under the eye and I pulled a little bit from the hair. And this is just making it up as I'm going along here, really. And the chin. So I'm still keeping inside that stenciled area and the eyebrow and I'm bumping my camera. Sorry guys. And it's kind of hard because I have no space. There's no way my pen can go up in here or my watercolor. Uh, I'm going to pull more um, paintbrush brown from the hair. I'm going to go on here and pull into the, the eyelid or eyebrow area. We'll see how this works. Another way to use stencils. So we'll see if this is actually just a weird idea in my head or if this is actually going to work. So there we go. So now I did do the white in the painters. I'm going to pull in a little bit of brown. See how I did that? I pulled it in right here. And I just did that with the hair. <laughs> pulled it in right there. That's all I'm doing, really. Who knows what it's going to look like once I'm all done here. So I'm just going around my edges. And now I'm going to work on the cheeks. Oops, moving it a bit here. It's new. Now I'm going to work on my cheeks and just go in a little watery. I'm not pushing lots of water. I don't want to soak it in and I do not want to uh, make a big blobby mess. So whatever's coming down into my water brush is coming down into my water brush. I'm going into the hair a bit, pulling it in and getting the colors kind of mixed up. So yeah, they're going to be, you know, crazy going on. There we go. Going into the mouth area and I just did an outline edge, like a lip liner almost. And so I'm just going to go around the circles like crazy here. There. So I did the black um, painters in there. Let's see. Let's see how it turns out. Da, 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 da. Not bad. It's not hideous. <laughs> That was using my stencil, so it was an experiment to see how well um, I can use my stencil like this. So what we can do is just, I don't know, I got my water. 
uh, got a lot of red in there. I don't want to really pull too much red in. So I'm just going to go over my edges and blend them in a bit now. And I'm pulling it, turning. I'm just playing with it, guys. I'm not um, having no, there's no rules on this, but I'm just like, hey, I have this stencil. Can I do this weird idea? So it's quite evident that I can. So play with it and kind of just use your stencils in a crazy different way. So now I'm probably just going to, I'm pushing some of my color out and getting some water on my table here or my non-stick surface. I'm going to pull the hair colors out a bit and that's what I'm doing now. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. That worked out well actually. Uh, yeah, I have nothing to add to that. There's just I'm a little bit astonished myself. So a different way, unique, and a different way to use your stencils. Um, so now I probably could just, uh, see, I'm still have not used a pencil on here. I'm pulling color from the hair to get the darker, go around the eyes a bit. And um, I'm not going to, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do anything to make it like you know, I think I'm just going to, you know, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, you know. I'm just going to go keep playing with it like that and leave it. I am not going to um, mess it up. <laughs> I'm just going to use what I have in here to spread it out and play with my face. So, that's it. I'm really happy with her. Um try to get that white from the watercolor to go a little bit more around and that's it and she's done so I'm going to probably dry her I'm very pleased with how she turned out I'm going to pull some brown around her chin and so that is her um I think I'm done with her and basically that was it. It was nothing added else added. So you guys can technically make a face um, like this with your stencils. Cool. I am going to uh, probably leave it like that. I don't think I'm going to lighten her um, eyes or anything like that. So uh, the dark is quite dark from the um, painter's pen, but I probably should have used a uh, a black um, watercolor paint, paint uh, thing, but that's that. Whatever it is, what it is. So that's done. So now I'm just I'm not sure. I'm thinking like, well, I shouldn't have maybe not done the painter's marker. So I might lighten it up a bit around. I put some um, crayon watercolor crayon here. Put a little darkness of the gray around here just to kind of soften it up. I'm hoping. I don't know if that will work. So we'll see. I could use that. So we'll see. We don't want to ruin this. I'm going to actually probably put some eyebrows down there too. Um, just because humans have eyebrows. Although they should be brown. Pull in some brown. So not too bad. So I did kind of try to soften up the black that I did with the painters. I shouldn't probably have put painters. I was just like, ah, what do I do? So I'm just putting the watercolor black around here and trying to soften it up a bit. And next time, don't add painters. That's the thing. So... Yes, I know. I said I wasn't going to do any more, but because I did put the painters on there, I kind of feel like I um, made a mistake there. So I think she's done for her, and I'm just going to dry her up now because I haven't done that yet. I was just like really kind of stressed about her eyes. 
I have another Andy Skinner uh, mixed media stencil, and this one is Serendipity. <laughs> I said that almost right. Oh wow! I need some English lessons. Um, speaking lessons. <laughs> and you guys still watch me. <laughs> you still like me. Anyway, so I have that. Um, and let's figure out what I want to put on her right, right here. I think up above her. I'm going to put create. Now, what do I want to do for that? I could a spray, um, B, um, stencil in with um, a brush, a stencil brush like this here, stipple type of brush. So that is the great question. And if I do this, what colors do I want to use? This is all questions that <laughs> I don't have answers to. So if you did, say we did want to spray, we could, could again, we actually could spray. We could again um, put this like this and I mean hey sticky notes are awesome and that's one thing I love these ones but like I said mine I actually had for way too long I think the sticky part is not so sticky but whatever right it is what it is like I said, you can add a little bit of tack to it because um, these things wipe right off. So you can add a little tack to it with a glue stick and it'll be no problemo. So that's always good. So now I have it all kind of blocked off here. And you're like, whoa, she's going crazy with the sticky notes. I want to prove that I can do this without making a huge <laughs> disaster. So I have it all blocked off here. I want to see your hair a bit. So I am not sure how far I am. Let's go more over. We want to make it almost as even as possible. Now I can spray her. And all of this is covered here with sticky notepad. In fact, I can't see any, any of my um, paper through here. So I can decide to go and um, be crazy and go with my, I'm gonna go with a mister this time. The color is gonna be way like in your face, but hey, who cares, right? So I'm holding it down really well and my distance is getting on my fingers. about eight inches away or seven inches away. If you guys recall, I've done that before where I'm like telling you guys do it this many inches away. Now, in fact, I'm actually going to grab instead of, um, again, instead of removing it all right now, I'm gonna put this down like this and I'm gonna roll right over. Play with my stencils is just so fun. So then I have a reverse, isn't that cute? Just like that. And then I get some of the, the stuff off like that. So there we go, I did make a bit of a mess with that spray, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. But that's the whole point of creating. So I can kind of do um, outlining of that on there. Now let's see if I want to do um, something else. I can save these, save these. And I want to do a art. So I want to create art. Now my art, I'm probably gonna do it in Let's do it in a teal, metallic teal. We'll do a metallic teal just for the fun of it, just because it's what I grabbed. And like I said, I'm not really thinking too much on this project. Now I'm just going dab, 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 pounce, pounce. 
we don't want to I would have made a way better create sign if I would have done this but I want to play around with my you know I'm telling you let's you know you could spray you can do this do that and if you needed it to be perfect then dabbing and pouncing would have been what you needed to do and don't need too much And it's a nice metallic. You could dab. So I also like to go uh, a little circles, like I was telling you guys before, a little um, kind of like, oh, I don't know, what the heck is that called? Check marks or whatever. But dabbing gives you more texture um, if you were going over it with uh, a metallic uh, luster type of thing or something. Can't think of the name. Anyways, there we go. See, that's a perfect art. The create is not so perfect. But I think I'm going to go off, off the side just a bit. Decide what decide what I want to do and go a little bit crazy with it. I did the spray first. I'm going to go just a slight, don't want too much. really want a, almost a dry brush and then go, see this is too much. Then go just on the edge. This is definitely a dabbing one here because the way I'm trying to make it look with the spray. So I'm just dabbing. There, now I'm gonna peel that up. Isn't that cute? Look at that. If you go just off of it a little bit, so it's not perfect, whatever. It's good. It's all good. This is how it turned out so far and now I'm going to play and stretch a little more. So I did the um, create art and to be honest with you, I like the create better than I like the art. The art's just too crisp and perfect. Here is what it looks like. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to flip this around and I am going to throw down my spare. I'm going to grab my pink create or my pink mister and I'm going to go over my art and then I'm going to grab my paper towel and kind of just dab up this stuff here it's kind of like when you you're cleaning off the rubber part of the um, the uh, stamp that you don't want to get the stamp on you know so I'm doing this this is crazy and I'm just gonna go and do this I don't want it like that and I'm going close as I can to what I want I picked and picking it up you see what I'm doing here you guys know what I'm doing I'm going crazy it could ruin it it could be awesome let's see let's see going over it trying to drop it right on and I wiped it and hopefully wiped what I needed to wipe away and can I find my roller no what can we else can we do with these stamps or are these um, stencils crazy there we go I could have just painted around it but how fun was that instead of just painting around it I um, decided to go I'm gonna grab I've decided to go and be crazy
Crazy. Crazy. So that is that. Something different. So I'm kind of like, okay, this is it. Um, I'm not sure. I wasn't really thinking really good when I was like throwing these colors together. I'm looking and I'm like, wow, those colors. I mean, I like it, the, what I've done with it, but the colors are hideous with, with the girl. But whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. So, um, yeah, I'm not too crazy about the colors. But I do have some of this still on my brush. So... Let's see how much I have, and I'm going to go on the scales and see what I can rub onto the bottom of my scales here, just a little bit. I'm going over a little bit here. It's not really picking up too much. In fact, it's really dry, so it's probably... But, hey, if I can get a little bit, I still have some. It was sitting in my water, this brush, and I'm just trying to get some of the... Color to come through. There we go. So there's another thing I've done here with my stencil just to try to put more texture on. And uh, I'm going to dry that up. Visual texture. Um, I am so was playing with this so badly that I wasn't even thinking of like how this is not going and I'm not pleased with that part but what can you do but I'm just gonna keep playing with it maybe I can work it I don't know I'm looking for my sprayer oh I hear it right in front of me <laughs> I'm just gonna try to um, add more color I was gonna do it across that way let's just see this way Let's just see what I can do this way here. Add more visual texture. Um, try not to move. I just moved my stencil a bit there. That was not cool. But whatever. And I'm just going to throw that on top. Isn't this coming? The second one is coming along a lot better. Oh, it's it's all good. It's just that um, I'm not pleased with the colors. I chose to point out what I was doing there. So whatever. It is what it is. I keep whining about it too. It's not going to make it any better. <laughs> So I'm just going, oops, spraying in the right direction. I want to add a little bit more, a different type of texture there. Um, and did I flip it? Wow, I'm making a mess. Having fun with it. It's almost like jelly printing. You just keep going back and throwing more stenciling and reverses on there. And at the same time, I'm pulling the uh, over wet parts off. Which is a good thing. So this one is my good one that I want to use for something really cool. And this is what I have so far. Front of the page. Um, I doodle with it with my calligraphy pen here. And I use my inkers, the white inkers, to highlight the inside a bit of that doodle part. As you can see. So. I think this is probably where I'm going to stop with this. And I'm going to keep going with the card. And then it's going to go. Maybe go out to somebody if I can get it um, the way I want to. But I want to show just different things I can do with the stencil. And um, like I did. I did point that out to myself. Like 
just things I've tried and are totally different t techniques here and the face um, even just the wash on there and all that kind of stuff so yeah I think I accomplished what I wanted to do last night in my head and finally this morning or this afternoon got a chance to do it so I hope you guys like this and don't forget to craft like a duck and keep trying new things is talk to you guys inside. later Bye. um this is how it's turned out. I used my masks I made for another project and I kept the masks and then I just used it for on here. Um, I had some stencil birds that I painted. So these are stencil. Um, let's see if I can pull out that stencil really quickly. Uh, a for, uh, folk art plaid stencil here with these birds. And that's the stencil, so I made these with my fingers, just painting over on brown paper, um, brown um, cardstock. So, <coughs> excuse me, that's how I made the bird embellishments. That's using that stencil. So again, I used some stencils there. And then I added my um, borders here, here, and I made a little crown on her there. Um, I wanted to pull, I don't know, I wasn't li really thinking when I was playing with my colors, and I'm like, jeepers, those colors, but it works now, so I pulled in some of the color with the crown, and it works now, so pulled in a little bit more brighter colors on this side, not too much, but a little bit of the blue-green with the border, so it, it works, it makes it work. I had some tissue papers here and there, pieces of the little, so that is that. And I hope you guys like it. Um, so this page is ready to send out to my per per partner, well, person that we kind of did, doing a private swap of a deconstructed journal page. This is the back, how it turned out. So I used my latest stamp that I got. Um, this one here, which was an 80% off at Michael's, which I'm very happy for about. So I did that. And I doodled again a little bit with my calligraphy pen. I got a few painted marks in there. As you can see, I got my name on there, the year. And that is that. I think it's turned out pretty good considering I didn't know what I was doing. And um, I did a little bit of border stamping here with my roller stamp to tie it all together. So that's basically it. So I hope you guys like that little... Um, bit it's just showing you a little bit more what I added um, the, the process like I said took forever um, just going really slow at it and that kind of thing so but it turned out pretty good I think and I'm happy with it so I hope you guys like it don't forget to craft like a duck and I guess I'll talk to you guys later I hope you guys didn't mind that I kind of did the process after but the part I wanted to show you was all the different stenciling that I did on here and you guys, I have a video for the stenciling bird. I'll try to remember to link to the bottom just how I did it with my fingers. So there you go. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.